Just talk to us about how Nigerian exporters are likely to benefit from this partnership with the Global Board of Trade. Thank you very much for this opportunity to discuss this wonderful relationship that Association of Nigerian Exporters and uh, Global Board of Trade uh, have started uh, following the signing of the MOU uh, on the 15th of uh, uh, this uh, uh, October. The Nigerian exporters would stand to benefit from this uh, uh, great uh, opportunity because at the moment the Nigerian Commodity Exchange, that is the Abuja Commodity Exchange, uh, is not trading on futures, uh, is, uh, is trading on spot market and uh, the Global Board of Trade is trading on futures and that will give uh, Nigerian exporters the opportunity to uh, trade on that uh, exchange and if we have to go that hog to trade on that exchange that will help to expand our, our production base here in Nigeria and we would contribute to the economy. I mean, obviously then, when you talk to us about the need to expand on your production base, it speaks to some of the limitations structurally of the Nigerian economy. We know that, for instance, with the exception of the oil and gas sector, manufacturing is not performing, agriculture is below par, and also the minerals and metals that Nigeria has to mine is also not an area where we've seen a lot of productivity. So even though there are benefits of pricing into futures, the fact is the production levels are really Really poor and those two issues don't correlate how are you going to overcome that yes we are already working on that my association is having a collaboration with the Abuja Commodity Exchange and our main focus is to make sure that cooperatives are organized and we are planning to launch out what we call export farm scheme the export farm scheme will enable us to uh, have uh, uh, cooperatives, NGOs, and other farming groups that will be producing specific products that are designed for export. In the first place, apart from the quantity, quality is a major factor in export of agri-commodities, for instance. So when we have our agri uh, a, a export farm uh, launched in the next few months by God's grace. We are going to make sure that whoever is going to farm for export is guided from the soil testing through the uh, types of seeds, uh, through uh, the kinds of fertilizers, pesticides, right. and of course the extension services will be given to them. That will help us on that sector so that we address the issue of quality and we are also working with the system here for warehousing the Abuja Commodity Exchange is facilitating the registration of warehouses and licensing them so that they can issue warehouse receipts. If that happens when products are warehoused we have the opportunity of having proof of products which the Nigerian banks want. All right, let's and talk about Nigerian banks will be ready. Let's talk about other areas because one of the reasons why people um, work through the Global Board of Trade is also to hedge against volatile currencies. Now, the Naira is fairly stable, but it's retained stability largely because of defense and support that's come from the Central Bank of Nigeria. But now on the GBOT, it will be a fairly open trading zone for Nigerian commodities produced in Naira, but traded in other uh, currencies, a basket of other currencies. How will that impact on um, returns to Nigeria, do you think? I can see Nigeria taking the, seizing the opportunity of testing the strength of uh, its currency uh, for instance, since GBOT is uh, planning to trade African currencies on the exchange, uh, Nigeria would not be the one left out. I can imagine Nigeria wanting to make sure that our Nigerian Naira is uh, 
seen there at the international fora as a convertible currency. So, uh, but initially, it will be some, there may be some obstacles. But I believe, being a government policy direction, we are working with the GBOTs uh, to ensure that some of these uh, areas that might impact on the open market on our Naira right. or the value of our products will be addressed. Uh, we hope we'll soon w get the GBOT to discuss with the uh, regulatory authorities here and, of course, the uh, financial authorities here, including the CBN on how this can work out for the economy. Right. And then finally, I mean, also the GBOT is useful for anybody wanting to hedge against perceived political risks. Nigeria is headed into an election year in 2011, and there is a sense that investors are holding back, waiting for that entire electoral process to complete itself before they really pile in on Nigerian commodities or Nigerian equities or just FDI in the country. Do you think that the timing, in terms of your collaboration with the Global Board of Trade, will be hampered by the political situation? It will not uh, uh, have anything to do with the political situation because, uh, for instance, I am sitting here as CEO of Association of Nigerian Exporters. I am also representing the export sector and the board of the Export Processing Zones Authority. I have uh, other members representing in other export-related boards like the Nigerian Sports Promotion Council. We are, by extension, part of the policy of government, so we don't need to wait on government pronouncements. We are part of the policy in these institutions that have to do with export, and we can always silently uh, Im uh, implement the policies without waiting for political pronouncements at that level. Uh, moreover, the government is concentrating more on the oil sector. Uh, we are looking at the non-oil sector more or less, mm -hmm. though in the, f futures, we, we, in the future we hope we'll be having access to the oil sector. For now, the export of oil, the crude, is uh, mainly government. Right. Uh, so it, it may not impact uh, immediately on what right. we are doing. All right, we have to leave it there. Thanks so much to Prince Joseph Idiong, who's the Director General and CEO of the Association of Nigerian Exporters. Kwebi, the Global Board of Trade, effectively the first international multi-asset derivatives exchange for countries like Nigeria that have seen dominance in terms of oil exports mm -hmm. and really um, below optimum performance for other sectors like agriculture. This is an opportunity now for them to start entering new markets. I mean, firstly, let me, let, me, let me put it to you this way. I think for African countries, to create a board of trade is very, very important. Mm -hmm. um, if you go into the U.S., you've, you've got the Chicago Board of Trade, which basically has any conceivable derivative on commodities listed there. And that allows for breadth and depth in a market, which then allows a whole, a whole bunch of commodity producers to go and hedge out risk mm -hmm. and potentially also currency risk. In South Africa, we have SAFEX, which is the South Africa Futures Exchange, and then we obviously have optionality on a whole bunch of other instruments which aren't necessarily listed with SAFEX. So depth and breadth in the South African market, but in order to create that in Africa, you, I'd rather stand together as a group, and GBOT provides that. And one big, I, I wait with interest in, you know, in order to see what happens with this you know, maybe a decade from now. We probably you know, look at GBOT in a decade from now and see there's a lot of depth and breadth in this, in this market. Provides a, provides a, a vibrant industry for, for trade, I think, for right. Africa.